Hello friends, today in this video we will be looking at Firebase pricing. Now you must have seen a lot of videos going through this pricing page and explaining you the default pricing which is listed on this page. But what I did is I captured all this cost in a spreadsheet and I tried to explain it how much it will cost you uh, every month and I try to explain you with some examples which will tell you more about uh, you know how much um, uh, bandwidth or egress you need to run an app with Firebase um, and then when you actually have to move from a free plan to the Blaze plan okay so let's get started Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. All right, so let's uh, let's start with the first bit, which is authentication. Now, as you can see on the Firebase pricing page, that on the authentication part here, it says that it's 10,000 uh, authentications uh, price per successful verification. So basically, um, if somebody tries to verify and they can put their password properly or it's not successful, it's not going to cost you. Uh, and the same way, uh, it is uh, actually 10,000 authentication per month. So if you have more than, I don't know, uh, 50,000 users, uh, not necessarily all the users will be logging into the application every month or every day or every week so basically you will not get any cost incurred unless it goes beyond 10,000 authentication uh, per month so that's really really good uh, um, you know uh, uh, quota At the same way for active users it is 50,000 per month so if you see here um, monthly active users 50,000 now you can create an app and if you have a 50,000 monthly active users I'm sure you will get a lot of funding to uh, pay for the monthly active users uh, for this pricing which paid plan or the blaze plan provided by the uh, Firebase uh, Firebase platform now when it comes to the SAML or OIDC so let's understand what they are SAML and OIDC are the protocols to authenticates users and these are mostly used by the enterprises and what what they do in theory is when somebody uh, authenticate themselves they store the uh, trust on the machine with the help of uh, either a client or or some kind of other technology and then whenever they log in again it just uh, you know uses the trust and that's why um the monthly active user for SAML and OIDC is so low which is just 50 per month and I'm sure most of us won't even you need it um, when we start a new fresh app uh, then you have file store data which is 1 GB which is way more than what you can think of because imagine you're storing um, a database of all the cities state and countries around the world and it will just take only around 300 MB of data so imagine how much data the 1 GB uh, storage could hold for you now let's have a look about the egress egress is the uh, the data full flowing outside um, of the network via the port uh, I don't want to go more technical on it but just for your understanding it's 10 GB for you for month now let's understand the document write read and delete and you know that it's a JSON uh, document based database fire based users so oh sorry so for for uh, 20,000 writes a day 50,000 reads a day and 20,000 deletes a day you almost get around 600k per month now obviously there is a caveat of 20,000 writes a day but imagine how many people you need to have a 20,000 writes a day you could have uh, 10,000 users who are doing two uh, writing queries every day or you could have a uh, 5,000 user who are doing four so it depends upon how many users you have but I'm sure if you have more than 5,000 active users or or you know passive user who log in into your app uh, once or twice in a week then you you can definitely use the google cloud pricing but for the startup it's really good because to raise your customer base to 50 
5000 you will need a lot of work and it, it will take you through a whole journey and then if you come to the cloud messaging crash analytics and dynamic links um, services it's, it's free it's, it's just free on both blaze as well as in the free, free plan now I don't know how many people would like to host their website or their apps on Firebase hosting. I, I wouldn't. I would just host it on Vercel or on Next.js or any other uh, stream provider. But even though if you do, it's 10 GB, which is more than enough for you to host um, a React Native or sorry, a React uh, application on the uh, storage. And on this, um, uh, hosting storage you have a 10 GB um, free free um, bandwidth now if there is a caveat of 360 MB per day and it's it doesn't look a lot but it is a lot I mean imagine if you have 10,000 users coming to your website every day and if you do not have many um, you know media uh, assets on your uh, website like images videos and if they're not coming from the same host then it doesn't take much of your bandwidth um, although for some people it is low but for me it's okay I, I don't mind because most of my data is just uh, text data then you have custom domain and SSL which is free then you have in-app messaging which is free again so if you have like free users on your uh, you know platform and then they're just chatting in app it's free and then you have a uh, cloud storage uh, for around 5 gb and around uh, 30 gb of um, bandwidth for a month uh, again uh, it has upload and download operations for around 60k per month and 1500k per month so this is how powerful firebase um, free tier is so you know i would strongly recommend to use firebase uh, for up to uh, 5000 active user until you get 5000 active user you can use it and then once you have that go outside fetch for some seed funding or get some funding for yourself and then just move to the place plan and then i'm sure you will be able to uh, you know progress from there and scale it from there okay if you have any other questions i'm using firebase on a daily basis with my different apps so if you have any questions regarding the firebase pricing just uh, pop them into the comment section and i'll try to respond them to you if you like the video just give me a thumbs up and uh, share it with your colleagues cheers